everyone, I am Dr. A. Naresh Kumar, Assistant Professor from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today we are going to have a discussion on three-phase off-wave control rectifier and uncontrolled rectifier. So now here, these are the classification. Uh, we have already discussed single phase off wave control rectifier and full wave control rectifier with these loads and today we are going to have a discussion on three phase uh, off wave control and uncontrolled rectifier with R load and RL load. So now this is the, uh, uh, before going to explain this. First here three phase half wave controlled uncontrolled rectifier means here we are using three diodes D1, D2 and D3. So now here this is a ground voltage uh, zero, this voltage is zero, one volt, three volt and here five volts. So now here uh, my question is here this is one uh, load, here my question is Mm, here this is a, a cathode, cathode and cathode, anode and anode and anode, anode cathode for D1, anode cathode for D2 and anode cathode for D3. So my question is which diode will conduct uh, first? So here, so all three diodes are connected in common cathode configuration connected to one point and remaining anode voltages of each diode, uh, anode voltages are di uh, different but here these voltages uh, they are connected to one point means here, so here cathode voltage is same, so now here which diode will conduct first, so now here first uh, let me uh, check first this is a one volt diode will, uh, one volt diode is conduct first, so this is three volts and this is uh, 5 volts, so D3 will conduct first, so this is a ground voltage, this is 0 volt. So now here, so if it is conducting first, so now this voltage is, uh, uh, this voltage is 1 volt, so this voltage is 1 volt and now here, it is a connected to common cathode voltage means it is also 1 volt means these two diodes, D, D2 and D3 diodes also will conduct, but it is violating the KVL, so here it is 1 volt, it is 1 volt means here it should be 5 volts, it should be 3 volts. So now here, next case here, another one, uh, if suppose 3 volts diode is conduct. So now here this is 1 volt and now here this is 3 volt means it is in reverse bias. So now here this is open circuit, but here D2 will conduct, here it is 3 volts and it is 5 volts. So here D2 and D1 diodes will conduct. So it is also violating the KVL. So now here another one is uh, D1 diode will conduct 5 volts and 3 volts and here 1 volts. So it is a open circuit not short circuit because it is 5 volts means all 5 volts, 5 volts, 5 volts. It is open circuited D3 and this one is open circuit D2 and next here 5 volts is conducting. Here uh, the question which diode will conduct first here. So here two or more diodes connected to common cathode configuration. Here two or more diodes, two or more, here three diodes are connected to um, common cathode uh, configuration whose diode uh, anode potential is maximum, whose diode anode potential is maximum, that diode will conduct. So that is the question. Here in this configuration D1 diode will conduct because uh, its uh, anode potential is maximum as compared to D2 and D3. Here, so if two or more uh, diodes are uh, connected to common cathode configuration, um, whose diode uh, uh, anode potential is maximum, uh, that, uh, that diode will conduct first. So that uh, concepts we will use in this uh, three phase half wave control rectifier. So now here, so this is the uh, waveform. Here we are giving three phase supply A, B and C. So now here this is uh, R, Y, B. So here suppose this is V, A naught, here V, B naught and here V, C naught. So here we are giving three voltages, three phase supply. Here we are giving three phase supply to this configuration. So D1, D2 and D3. And here this load may be R load or 
RL load. So now here, uh, uh, here this is the here this is 30 volts here. So now here it starts from zero, and next here it is a 180, and next here is a 90. This is 60, and this is a 120, and next here uh, uh, v v equals to v v a naught equals to v m sine omega t plus zero and v v b naught equals to v m sine omega t minus one twenty and v c naught equals to v m sine omega t minus two forty. So here it starts from zero. And next here second one a, a v naught it starts from 120 so vm sin omega t minus 120 and next here this third one this uh, one he starts from here minus 240 120 and this is a 240 so v a naught equals v m sin omega t v b naught equals v m sin omega t minus 120 and v c naught equals v m sin omega t minus uh, 240 here which diode will conduct first so now here during uh, first here so which diode here if you compare this one is three waveforms so here uh, i am seeing here uh, from 32 here this is a 30 from 32 uh, here this is a 150 this is 30 this is 30 and this is a 150 during this period so here va naught is a maximum as compared to vc naught and vb naught so here va naught is greater than hmm, vb naught and uh, vb naught and vc naught in between 30 to 150 between between 30 to between 30 to 150, VA naught is greater than as compared to VB naught and VC naught. So now here, uh, which diode will conduct first? Here from 30 to oh, 150. So VA naught will conduct. VA naught means here D1 diode will conduct. And now here 150 to, so here from 150 to, here from uh, here this is 152 and next this is 240 and this is 270 270 vb naught is greater than so now here uh, vb naught is greater than so va naught and vc naught from 150 to 270 so this is the case here in this period so now here so now here uh, 152 d2 diode will conduct so vb naught is greater than so d2 diode will conduct so now let me now next case here from 272 from 272 here up to this one 390 from 272 uh, here 390 this is the 390 so now here in this so here d3 diode will conduct so in this case vc naught is greater than vc naught is greater than uh, va naught and vb naught so now 272 390 so this is these are the case. here from 30 to 150 d1 diode will conduct and next here uh, from uh, 150 to 270 d2 diode will conduct uh, from 270 to 390 d3 diode will conduct it is just one uh, why d1 is conducting because whose anode voltage if three diodes if two or more diodes are connected to common cathode configuration so here whose anode potential is maximum here anode potential is maximum va naught is maximum during this period so d1 diode anode potential is maximum so here uh, that is va naught is maximum so during uh, 30 to 150 d1 diode will conduct here vb naught is maximum as compared to va naught and vc naught so here d2 will conduct here vc naught is maximum uh, from 270 to 390 so d3 diode will uh, conduct in this case so now same fashion here it will repeats so now here this is up to uh, some up to this uh, so now here and again 
next so like this d1 d2 and d3 so this is the output voltage waveform this is for r load so r load if suppose i will if i will take r load so here v not uh, v not equals to this much and i not equals to v not by r load it is a voltage shift uh, load so now here so this this one is equals to also same here this one is equals to also same here it will follows the it will uh, it will uh, follows the this uh, output voltage this one and next here up to here and next so this is the i not with r load if it is pure inductive load highly inductive load output voltage is constant so that is i not is constant so that is this is for r load it will follows the this output voltage so this is the case for three phase off wave controlled rectifier so now here uh, my first question is here uh, f not equals to 3 into fs so output frequency equals to output frequency equals to here output frequency equals to 3 a into f into s supply frequency 3 into f into so here 3 pulse converter it is a so now here another one is it is conducting from 30 to 150 so that i will explain so first here it is conducting 150 uh, 30 to 150 d1 each diode is conducting so each diode is conducting for uh, for 120 duration duration and next here it is up to conducting up to 270 this is d2 so now here this is the 390 up to d3 so now here v not average is equals to v not average equals to here 1 by 2 pi by 3 each the diode is conducting from um, uh, 2 pi by 3 uh, duration from 30 to 150 means 150 minus 30 that is so here 150 so vm sin omega t d omega t so now this one is equals to this one equals to 3 by 2 pi so vm vm so this is a minus cos omega t so 30 to 150 that equals to vm by 2 pi minus of cos 150 minus cos 30 so this equals to this one equals to 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi so now here v not average equals to v not average is equals to 3 root 3 by 2 pi 3 root 3 by 2 pi into Vm. So, this is the V naught average formula and V naught RMS formula equals to what is the formula? So, that equals to under root 1 by uh, 2 pi by 3 from 30 to 150. So, Vm sin square omega t whole square d omega t this is the second question first question f not equals to 3 into f s so this is the first question and this is the second question and next v not rms is equals to here uh, root 3 by 2 vm into 1 by pi 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 plus root 3 by 2 under root so that is 1 by 2 so this is the v naught rms that is third question so now here what is the uh, conduction time so gamma of t equals to gamma of t equals to fourth point gamma of t is equals to here gamma of t is equal here vm equals to we can write equals vm equals to so root 2 by 3 into vl so generally in the question they will give line voltage also so now here you can substitute this if line voltage is given so here vm equals root 2 by 3 into 
AEL gamma of t equals to 2 pi by 3. So it is conducting from 30 to 150 duration. So now here, what about the average uh, fifth one? Fifth one equals to so I not average equal I t I diode average value equals to so it is conducting two pi by three and next here from uh, for uh, two pi by duration so that equals to two pi so I not into that equals to I not by three. Next here sixth question sixth point is here I D R M S equals to I naught into square root of two pi by three by two pi that equals to I naught by root three and next case here uh, seventh one so P naught equals to output power equals to V naught R M S square by R that equals this is for R load and next nine eighth question is P naught uh, RMS equals to uh, V naught average value and I naught average value for L load. So these are the main important points. So first I will explain. So here each diode will conduct from D1 diode will conduct from 30 to 150 and D2 diode will conduct from 150 to 270 and D3 diode will conduct from 170 to uh, 270 to 130. Each diode will conduct uh, for 150 uh, degrees duration. So here this is the output current. Output current will follow the supply voltage. So now here I not equals to uh, output voltage will follow the output. Uh, output current will follow the output current. So now this is the output current. So the it it is same as that v not so v not by r is this one and for l load so it is a constant so output current is a constant current i not current so now here the each diode is conducting and now here next so now here this average output voltage so here it is a three pulse converter and next here um this is uh, uh, average output voltage formula uh, uh, RMS output voltage formula each diode is conducting for 150 duration diode average value diode RMS value output power formula for R load and for L load for R load and for L load. So now here uh, next case here this is the uh, 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 uncontrolled rectifier here we are going to discuss about half wave controlled rectifier controlled rectifier means here we are using three terrestrial t1 t2 and t3 a b and c here we are giving the three phase ac supply three phase ac supply and now here this is one load here we are taking r load and uh, rl type of load so now here uh, how it will uh, works first i will take alpha equals to 0 alpha equals to 0 so that we will see so this is the first three waveforms so v a naught v b naught and v c naught so this is a v a naught and v v naught and this is a v c naught so already we have seen this uh, three phase ac supply so first uh, at alpha equals to 0 it is same as the uh, three phase half wave uh, uncontrolled rectifier waveform from 30 to from 30 to oh, here it alpha equals to 0 uh, alpha equals to 0 means uh, let us um, take it starts from uh, at uh, suppose it starts from at 30 uh, alpha equals to 0 alpha equals to 0 means here uh, uh, alpha value is 0 it's it is starting from 30 to this is a 150 so t1 thyristor will conduct so here alpha value is 0 so it starts conducting from 30 to 150 so now here how it will work so that i will explain and next here from 150 to 150 to here this is a 270 270 t2 thyristor will conduct and next here 270 to 390 T2 will conduct T3 270 and 390. So now here from 
from T1 thyristor will conduct from omega t equals to t omega t equals to 30 plus alpha 2 30 plus alpha 2 150 plus alpha and t2 thyristor will conduct omega t is equals to uh, 150 plus alpha 2 and next here 270 plus alpha and t3 thyristor will conduct omega t is equals to 270 plus alpha 2 and next here 390 plus alpha so these are the three thyristors so t1 thyristor here alpha equals to 0 it is same as the diode here alpha equals to 0 means it starts conducting from 30 to uh, 150 and from 150 to 270 and 270 to 390 duration. So, here 30 to 150 T1 diode will conduct and 150 to 270 T2 diode will conduct 270 to 390 T3 diode will conduct. So, now here this is for R load. This is for R load. So, now here uh, again 30 degrees duration. So, now here R load, R load 30 de degrees duration. So, this is for 0 degrees duration, uh, alpha equals to 0, alpha equals to 30. So, now here alpha equals to 30 means here, alpha equals to 30 means it starts at, here it starts at, from uh, 60 to and 180, 150 plus alpha. So, it is uh, starts up to 62. So, here 180 means here here so up to 180 it will conduct and next here uh, it starts at uh, here it starts at 180 uh, at 30 and next here at 180 it will starts and next here 180 plus uh, here 270 270 plus up to 300 it will conduct so this is uh, 270 300 it will conduct so now here this is the uh, 62 at alpha equals to alpha equals to 30 so here uh, t1 will conduct from 60 to 180 and t2 will conduct from 180 to uh, 270 plus 30 300 and t3 will conduct from 180 to 180 to here uh, sorry 300 to this is 300 to so 420 duration here what about 420 duration this one so here it is a 420 duration so it will conduct up to t2 this is the t1 t2 and t3 so this is for alpha equals to 30 and next here what about the alpha for r load for R load alpha equals to 60 duration for alpha equals to 60 duration so it starts at 90 alpha equals to 60 duration means here T1 is conducting from 90 to 210 and T2 is conducting from 210 to 330 and next here T3 is conducting from 330 to 4. 50 so that i will show you so here from 90 means here this is the 90 degrees so now here this is a 90 90 and next here up to what angle it will conduct here this is a r load so but here this is r load means here it is conducting up to 180 it is not negative for R load it should not negative so it is conducting up to 180 only so here it will conduct up to 180 after that uh, here it start at uh, here and next here it starts at so now this is a T1 T2 and T3 one, 180 90 to 180 and next 2102 so here this is uh, 330 not uh, up to here this is uh, 
300 only so this is 300 and next this is a 420 so 330 to 420 so now here uh, for R load this output voltage is discontinuous output current is also discontinuous if you take the RL load if you take the RL load let me change the color over here if you take the RL load so that is negative so the uh, thyristor will conduct so this uh, it is also continuous so that will follow the 210 330 and 150 volts so this is the case for R load with 30 so now here uh, what is the conclusion here so from uh, alpha equals 0 degrees alpha equals 0 degrees SCR will uh, T1 SCR will conduct from 30 to 150 and 150 to 270 and 270 to 390 but here uh, alpha equals 30 S T1 is conducting from 60 to is from uh, T1 is conducting from 60 to 180 and next from 180 to uh, 300 uh, this uh, 180 to 300 this T2 thyristor will conduct and 300 to this is 60 180 and this one is a 300 and this one is a 390 T1 T2 and 3 3 will conduct but here but uh, this is the R type of load there is no negative voltage so this negative voltage so here it is conducting from 90 to 180 degrees only so from 90 so this is a 90 and this is a 180 so it is conducting up to 180 degrees so 180 degrees and next again it starts from 110 to 210 to 300 degrees only and next here it is starts from 332 and next here 420 only not this is a 300 only and this is a 420 only for R load but if you take the RL load so now here there may be a negative voltage it will follow this supply voltage so it may be a negative so this negative voltage and next here this negative voltage and next here this negative voltage this negative voltage means here in this here and this negative voltage here this one and this negative voltage is this negative voltage this is for RL load so now let us derive the average value RMS value and for, uh, so that uh, so now let me change the color over here so now here uh, V naught average equals to V naught average equals to from alpha is less than 30 here we have two conditions alpha is less than 30 so now here alpha is less than 30 means 1 by it is conducting up to pi by 3 so each thyristor will conduct from pi by 3 30 plus alpha 2 and he it is conducting up to uh, what duration here uh, 30 plus alpha to 150 plus alpha and now here this is the case and next here a uh, vm sin omega t d omega t so now if you simplify this 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi cos alpha v naught average is equals to v naught average equals to vm equals to root 2 by root 3 into vl if line voltage is given and now here another one is here uh, if alpha is uh, uh, greater than 30 if alpha is greater than 30 means v naught average equals to 1 by 2 pi he 2 pi by 3 so now here 30 plus alpha 2 it is conducting up to from what duration here 180 vm sin omega t plus d omega t that equals to 3 by 2 pi vm so that equals to here 1 plus cos 30 plus alpha v naught average is equals to so this is the case so now here is it is greater than 30 so now here what about uh, the conduction time so conduction time for uh, this uh, is less than 30 
is 120 degrees duration 2 pi by 3. So, conduction time for conduction time for alpha is less than 30. Alpha is less than 30. So, now here conduction time for this one is 2 pi by 3. So, now uh, uh, now here it average equals to it average equals to i naught into 2 pi by 3 by 2 pi that equals to i naught by 3 and it rms is equals to i naught into square root 2 pi by 3 by 2 pi that equals to i naught by root 3 so now here this is the first question uh, for average value is greater than 0 and less than 0 and greater than 0 and next year conduction time and now here alpha is uh, and it is a case for um, this is for R load this is for R load and next here uh, for uh, alpha is greater than 30 degrees duration so now here what will happen all all gamma e gamma of t equals to so he it is conducting from uh, 30 plus alpha to 180 degrees duration so now here gamma of t equals to 150 minus alpha so now here how we will calculate the it average equals to i naught into so now here I naught into 150 minus alpha by 2 pi. So now here this is the one and it RMS is equals to I naught into square root of 150 minus alpha by 2 pi. So these are the two cases. Now here alpha is um, uh, for any al funny uh, for any alpha is greater than 30 and alpha is less than 30 alpha is greater than 30 for rl load so here it is a gamma of t equals to so now here 120 degrees duration that is 2 pi by 3 and now here it average equals to 1 i naught into 2 pi by 3 by 2 pi that equals to i naught by 3 and next it rms equals to i naught into square root of 2 pi by 3 by 2 pi that equals to i naught by root 3 so these are the formulas for this one now let us uh, take uh, first one is uh, for alpha is less than 30 and alpha is greater than 30 these are the two formulas uh, for uh, less than 30 and greater than 30 for average value and now here alpha is less than 30 the conduction time is 2 pi by 3 so now here it average and it rms and next here alpha is greater than 30 so now here conduction time is 150 duration so now here it average and it rms for alpha is greater than 30 and alpha is less than 30 rl equals to um, this is for rl load so here conduction time is 120 means here it average and it rms formulas so i naught by 3 and it by 3 so now here these are the reference books from bimbra and mh rashid so now i hope all these uh, concepts are clear to you if you still have any doubts in this lecture uh, you can comment in the comment section below i will answer to your queries thank you thank you very much to you all like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates